Welcome, welcome, all of you. Going live today, right here at Monty's Chat. Hey, be there, or be square, right here. Hey, look, I'm Monty. I'd like to welcome all of you today to Monty's Chat. I am just so excited that you guys could come, that you will be sharing a little time with me today. And uh, wow, let's do it. <laughs> it's like, man, I'm just stoked. stoked. There are so many things I'm going to talk to you about. Today, yeah, <laughs> man, I am totally stoked. I'm really excited today. I just really have just happened to be here. I am Monty Cagle. For those of you who don't know, world traveler, missionary, um, musician, performer, entertainer, uh, builder, biologist. <laughs> I did a lot of crazy stuff when I was a kid. Some was crazy, some was nice. And uh, world traveler. Hey, I'm here and living for God. I just want to talk to you today. I am so excited. Man, this week I was we're out there working on, on the um, cabins today. Hey, don't forget to uh, check out our cabins this uh, winter season. Maybe you guys come and hide out <laughs> down here at... Uh, What is that? Airbnb. Check it out. It's called uh, what's up? Ch uh, cabin Adventure. Small, tiny cabin adventure in Aruba. So go check it out. Have some fun. Go to the beach with us. Have some food and all that kind of stuff. And enjoy the tropics. I just want to throw that out there. Just for those of you who do get this, you know, I just want to just uh, say we're available for you. Pop by anytime. Just give us a call. You know, check it out and uh, enjoy, enjoy. Hey, listen, today I just, I'm just, I really mean it, man. I wanted to talk to you guys because I was, you know, I was out there working at, and I, I just realized a lot of people don't uh, realize that we are in a spiritual warfare. You just don't. You, you know, you're born in this world. You move around. You do this. You do that. Da, da, da. And then you, oh, my daddies do this. My mother does this. My uncles do this. My cousins do this. My, and you know, world people do this. They try to get education. They try to do this. It's beautiful. You know, when you just start awareing, you become aware of what's going on around you. But one of the things I wanted to tell you, you know, because I'm always like, hey, get Jesus, receive Jesus, receive the Lord, and da da da. da. And uh, I like to try to put things in a practical term, things that you could use in your life, right? As a Christian, as a believer in God, or just a, being a good person, you know? And um, one of the things that hit me this week is most of us in this life don't know that we're in a spiritual warfare. We don't know it. You just do stuff, you know, you're just born, you should know, be here. And you just go through life and you suffer a whole lot of crazy stuff and you don't know why. And you know, you walk around, oh, why is this, why is that? So I wanted to tell you, I wish somebody would tell me when I was a kid, you know, they did. I mean, preachers told me and stuff, but, you know, it was like more like just being good and going to church and then maybe everything will be good for you that week and you'll get, you know, good grades and you'll get, you know, get good uh, results from your job or, or you'll have good results with your family by, you know, knowing Jesus and reading the word and all those kind of things too. But it doesn't really dawn on you because, you know, I, I wanted to just say, look, it's time for people to really understand this life is physical, but it's also spiritual. And a lot of the things that you uh, go through in life are a result of uh, spiritual spiritual things, right? And there's a few points that I wanted to uh, remember this week to tell you that you are in a, in this world, in this realm, in this life, you're in a spiritual warfare. There's a war going on. Not just, you know, guns and knives and bombs and, and bullets and stuff, you know. but And, you know, uh, propaganda. 
you know, this pie says that side is bad, and that side says this side is bad. And there's always this this war physically, you know, there's like, like you know, like the Ukrainian, the war in Ukraine right now. But there's also a spiritual warfare that's really real, that's been going on for thousands, thousands of years. I'm not kidding. It's, it's like, and I wanted to bring this to light this week. I don't hope, I don't want to be too long, but I just want to say that you are, everybody that's born into the world, this world is born into the spiritual warfare along with being born physically in this world. So, you know, I just want to bring that out and just kind of make it clear for you. For those of you who don't know, some people know. Some people really live their lives. They know they're in the middle of a battle and this life is a fight. And you go, what, what am I fighting? You always hear, life is fight. You know, life is, is this, is that. But you are, every person that's born into this life is born into this world physically and spiritually. I've been talking about you know, getting saved, receiving God, and living forever, and uh, for, for most of my Comcast, but don't know me, a lot of people don't really understand, they don't really get it, you know, they want to get saved, they want to be good, they want to be, you know, religious, or they want to be during this church, or join that church, or believe this, or believe that, and that's cool, but I would just here to tell you that it's really real and I learned this as a child not because I went to church I saw a lot of freaky when I was a kid <laughs> and I tell you we live in this big spooky house in my town on Main Street and I saw I saw ghosts I saw a lot of freaky stuff I really did I'm not lying I'm not trying to make this up I'm not trying to be charismatic or or trying to be exciting or something. But I'm telling you, I saw a lot of freaky stuff when I was a kid. I didn't tell people. But, uh, you know, it went on for years and years and years. And then learned, I really learned why. And I learned what it was and these things I would be seeing sometimes or freaky dreams or and, you know, sleep paralysis. A lot of people they call it now, they call it sleep paralysis. Well, you know, you're, just, you're just dreaming and something's after you and you just can't move. Or you wake up and you can't move. You're paralyzed. A lot of freaky things happen in people's lives like that. And that's a reality. So I wanted to just kind of clarify, just in case you don't know, these are results of spiritual things, like entities or beings that are causing you to experience this stuff. Now, it's good. I'm so thankful for my religious background and training and things like that. But a lot of people in church did not tell me about how these things are can try to grab you or come out on a you know wall and freak you out and a lot of people were in church. I mean a lot of people I knew in church were freaked out about they see things and they didn't know and a lot of times the pastors I guess didn't get around to it to talk to them why what these things are going on or even see if these people were actually saved. It's good to to know the Lord and be happy, it's encouraging and everything like that. But you need to really know that you're really saved and that you're really Fill with the Holy Spirit. These are the most important things I wanted to share with you this week. I'm just, I just thought about it. It's like, you know, you do this stuff, you live this life, and you just don't know. You just follow. You just do traditions. You know, you follow your parents. You follow your friends or your associates. And then you go through all these things. And then if you try to talk to people about it, they think, oh, this dude is crazy. Oh, this trick is off, you know. But they people are really experiencing things all the time spiritually that people don't discuss clearly, openly. And so everybody walks around with a hurt, you know. So I want to just say, look, just blow off all these people who say, oh, you're crazy, or you're this, or you're going through that, or you're having a mental episode. Now, I just want to tell you, this spiritual warfare, <laughs> it really is, I'll tell you. It's not in your head. It's, some of these things are not because of Drugs are because of psychological, emotional trauma, you know, that you may go through. They're actual beings. Now, let me explain this. Let me want to break this down for you. We live in a world that we live in a parallel world. And along with this world, there's another dimension that is all around us and through us and can operate in a parallel existence. Now, I'm not trying to be 
far out. I just want to help people, man, to stop being freaked out and stop being embarrassed about spiritual things that are happening to you. So, now long ago, now this is real, there was these, this spirit world and the physical world created by God. Some people don't believe that. Now, I want to break this down. So, there are God spirits living around us, all around us and through us and in our lives and there are and there's like angels or good spirits and departed saints and all these things like they are good they are God they are Jesus Christ like the picture behind my head and on the other hand uh, God created these creatures many years ago you can read it in the Bible but I just want to say these things are created beings that actually live and are real and they exist in our dimension and around our dimension and through our dimension that we live in this reality that we call life and they help us they teach us and talk to us and thoughts and you get ideas and things and they actually physically protect you from accidents and falling off a roof or some crap you know it's whatever it's really real now there are other beings that exist who fight against you and they are like demons or bad spirits or evil people that left and went into the other world and kept their kept trying to affect your life and the devil there's a being as a creature called Satan and so anyway there was so all this stuff happened started thousands of years ago this is actually the truth okay I'm not trying to be uh, sensational or something. I'm just telling you the truth. So, I want to talk to you as if you never heard this. Because I think a lot of people have never heard it. And a lot of people don't read the Bible. They just don't read it. They they do rituals or they do uh, things around their lives that their parents did and their grandparents did. And they take you just do it and explain why you need to do it sometimes in detail but they say you need to go to church you need to be good you need to be that you need to get why so I'm not here to tell you the why today there is a war going on started thousands of years ago and uh, you'll learn more about that as you go along once you get saved when you get saved you're gonna start you're gonna move more and more into this spiritual war that's going on around you Besides getting saved and receiving Jesus, there's a war of saved people, angels that are good, and demons. These things called demons. Maybe these beings called angels. And they really exist. They're really all around you. And they were created by God. All of it. Everything was created by God. And he's using it. He uses the demons. He lets the demons do certain things. and he. But that causes his will to be fulfilled and you got the angels do certain things and that brings about God's overall plan to be fulfilled or be done or to teach us certain lessons I explained you this whole life things a, you know lesson and I just want to bring it out like once you get saved you're going to have you're going to go to heaven you're going to live forever you don't have to go to hell but there are beings like I told you these angels on God's side fighting that are good and you got these demons on this entity called the devil the devil is a being he's a fallen angel he is he was good angel or he was a doing God's plan and fulfilling his purpose in the universe uh, thousands of years ago and then he at some point became very proud you know because he was right there with God he knows God really good that's why it's so hard to fight the devil sometimes because the devil knows was right there with God for a long time and he knows a lot about how God operates and how man operates and he knows what to do to cause us to trip up and blow it and stuff like that now so they're good angels God's angels on one side and these other demons and stuff are trying to depress us or kill us or hurt us or bring bad fortune or bad things in our life because of the war that's going on and you got people who are fighting on the devil side and you got people who are fighting on God's side you know so um, this disgruntled being called Satan it really does exist 
and he works in the spirit world, in the physical realm, and all around, uh, was is a disgruntled fallen angel. You know, he's not like equal with God. I want you to understand that clearly. You don't have to be afraid of him because, man, everybody's always afraid of the freaking devil, you know. And at, at, in my life, I remember as a kid, anything to do with the devil was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, he's like really powerful. He's really, big. Was, you know, you're taught. I don't know about you, but in my family, I was taught from a young kid to be afraid of the devil and demons and evil entities and, you know, things you can't see. Like, not because they were trying to be mean or trying to force me to go to the devil. It was just what they were taught. Okay? And these beings, these evil spirits and stuff, have been around for thousands of years. And there's a lot on that subject. I don't want this to be too long, but I just want to explain to let you be aware today. Start being aware that you you are in a war. Once you get saved, you become the enemy of the devil and demons. <laughs> and you are. And they want to kill you. And um, that's all that started from a disgruntled, all, a lot of this stuff started from a disgruntled guy being. It's not a story, it's not a fairy tale, it's not a, a myth, it's real that is mad at God. He's just like a he's just like a spoiled brat little child. He had everything. But he wanted to be God. So God had to teach him a lesson and spank his butt or whatever. And he's mad about it. So he's like a disgruntled little kid, like, you know, you two kids are playing in a room with, with toys, right? And this kid, one kid makes this real far out stuff, you know, cool. And the other kid gets jealous and mad and goes, ah. He go, runs over to your toy and tries to break it, you know. So that's what it's like. But they're not, they're not equal. But I'm just saying, the devil is a disgruntled little spoiled brat who is mad at God for making us human humans. It take for, it would take hours to explain to you all that. But I'm just trying to make it short. Try to get you to become aware of the spiritual warfare that you're in. So, this guy, Satan, is really real. He's an entity. He does exist. It's not a figment of someone's imagination. It's not a thought up religious, uh, ritually, ritualistic thing that's going on. He's an actual being. If you could, some people have seen him physically. You know, I've seen spirits good and I've seen spirits bad. I've seen them with my eyes. I don't know, maybe that's why I had to have a cataract <laughs> operation years ago. But I've seen a whole lot of stuff since I was little. And I don't know why, you know, I was, in, I was very sensitive to those things, maybe because of my African heritage, that, uh, you know, they're really, a lot of people in the Caribbean and Africa are very spiritual. But a lot of them look bad side, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, is it the truth? I don't want to be weird. So I was very sensitive to these things, and that's what kind of led me to be even more into Christianity and, and more into Jesus Christ because I know the veracity I know how real it is okay so anyway so that's this this grown guy is called the devil he really does exist and he's trying to fight you if you're a Christian if you know God if you're not saved and it's possible that you get saved he will try everything possible to keep you from being saved to keep you to keep you from the knowledge of God and the Bible right I just had, I don't know, God, God just gave me an opportunity when I was eight years old, man. I just became super interest, inter, interested in this. So I just stuck with that all my life. And I've been like that all my life since I was little because I used to see a lot of weird. I really did. Okay? I don't care what you say. You can say, uh, oh, he's mentally disturbed. <laughs> I don't care. It's just the truth. Okay? And I used to talk to people in the spirit realm and people who died and all kinds of stuff and uh, I'm going to just admit it and tell you it really happened to me I'm not lying okay this is stuff that really happened but my, my relatives will tell you if you see any of my uncles my aunts my cousins a lot of my close friends know this dude was really kind of strange okay so anyway but I want to tell you so you'll be prepared you won't have to go through what I went through now because we're getting close to the end, Jesus is about ready to come, and the spiritual warfare is getting more intense, and a lot of more weirder stuff is going to happen. So I want to help you make it through this warfare. So anyway, so this stuff is so real, it manifests physically, 
and spiritually. So, so it gets down to this. We are in a situation right now where people who are who have a secular worldview and people who have a religious, a biblical worldview. Either they don't believe in God and they try everything possible to say why God doesn't exist and, and everything in between. Okay, I'm trying to make it short to tell you the facts. I want the facts to get out to you today so you won't be a noodle spiritually. And then you got the people with a spiritual worldview. Those are people who believe in God, who believe in the Bible, and who read it. And what's going on right now used to be spread way out. You know, nobody cared, da, 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 you know, let's say 50, 60, 70 years ago. But now, as we get closer to the end, it's getting to be more centralized. It's, gets, it's getting to be more concentrated, this war. And it's becoming more obvious. And it's really going to get more and more intense. And it's going to be more and more physical. More years ago, it was more spiritual and way off hidden. And everybody didn't know about it. And all, you know, like a lot of people that you uh, are experiencing today who are devil worshipers that you never imagined. Okay, I grew up in a household where they didn't worship the devil, but they were like, you know, very sensitive. My mom was an Eastern star, my uncle was Mason, and they did a lot of freaky shit. I'm sorry, I'm just being honest with you, okay? And I know it's now because of their spiritual training in these things. They didn't, they didn't start out like that, they were, but they, you know, they, the Masons and the Eastern star people, they always go after the elite. They try to turn them into followers of their religion or it's really it's basically a rich religion and they kind of try to move you away from Jesus because they eventually say that oh G Jesus is the loser and the devil is the winner and that's a long story itself nobody I can't explain that to you but I'm just trying to tell you guys to start being more aware of why things are happening in the way the world is like it is so anyway I just want to just say that man I'm just like God, you know, nobody said it to me when I was a kid. You know, and I didn't know this stuff. So maybe whoever gets this, if you get this, and you're suffering some of the things I did as a kid, I'm telling you why, and I'm telling you how to remedy it, okay? So anyway, so these angels and these spirits are fighting each other all the time. It's going on all the time, 24 hours a day, in various degrees, and some the, the demons are trying to discourage you and kill you or hurt you. And the angels are trying to encourage you and help you and help you to make it through this life, okay? So that's what's going on every day of your life. And especially when you get saved, it still goes on, this war. It gets more intense, okay? So, so those are spirits. So you got people with a biblical worldview and you got people with a secular physical worldview. They don't believe in God, or they say they don't believe in God, whatever. That's a long story in itself. So anyway, this, this war has been raging like that between, in each society, in many societies of the world, politically, socially, economically, and it's been going on for thousands of years. And what's happening <clears throat> in the world right now is just getting more and more concentrating, and it's becoming more obvious. You know, before us, it was just, you know, oh, spirit, okay, he's way over there, I'm way over here. And nobody never thought, you know, you had the Congress, you have the senators, and you have all these political leaders all, work, all working together, and then you got some people who are just demonic from hell. And you got people who really want to help people. So I just want to tell you that there are people that are manifesting this spiritual warfare physically and it's happening physically and what you're seeing is the results the things that are going on in the world are the results of these of these wars this war that's going on right so you got the people who have a phys who have a biblical worldview and the people who have a secular worldview that's how they think that's how they operate and that's how they work so You have to kind of position yourself into that. What do you want to do? You want to have a secular worldview of life or you want to have a spiritual worldview of life? And I'm guaranteeing you, if you really have to realize that uh, you are being going, you're going down a tunnel and you can't get out of this tunnel and that's life. And you're going to either go down the tunnel victoriously or be discouraged and depressed. 
I'm sorry. You know, I was really discouraged about life until I met Jesus. I knew about religion and stuff and how to be good and things, but I never really knew Jesus personally until I was, you know, much older. You know, I knew about goodness and stuff, and I talked to Jesus. I love God, but uh, I received him personally in my life, knowing as an adult, understanding it all when I was around 18. And my life changed drastically, you know, before I was like, ah, oh, every little thing would discourage me, and I would walk around discouraged a lot of times, and, and didn't know what to do. It was like a noodle, but then the Lord saved me and gave, filled me with the Holy Spirit, and I, now I don't, what the devil says, or these demons say, you understand? So, I want you to be just as strong and just in knowing his word, read the Bible, Get your hands on the Bible and read it. Now, now the, third, the, the, the second thing, thing I'll, um, uh, so this have this, this secular worldview people and people who have a biblical worldview. And God uses these people to fulfill his will in your life for good. Or you have people who have things that happen to them for evil. And I'm telling you, this warfare, let me show you has been going on for years. So you got these creatures and uh, they're called uh, demons, all right? So everybody thinks it's a joke, you know, they have these cartoons of demons, and, ah, this is Mitor Man, this is He-Man, this is Orion, this is a, but they're actual beings that have been here for thousands of years and they are becoming more and more uh, dominant and and freer in this world, secular world we live in. People are throwing out God, and they, people don't pray, and this atmosphere of God's protection is being lifted from the world, and these spirits are becoming more and more prevalent, and more they have more and more freedom. But years ago they didn't because, you know, Christianity went around the world and just put a stop to all of it, all this devil worshipery, devil worshipers, and all this kind of creatures and things like that, and they, they kind of pushed them out of this atmosphere at least closely, you know what I mean? And uh, they were far away, but although they still had influence on the world. But now they're coming, and the more and more secular, the more and more disbelief in God there is, the more and more these creatures are allowed to come into our realm and to come around us, you know? So there's the angels, they're always watching over us, a nice little angel over there watching over a little kid. And they watch over us and they protect us, these angels. And they love us and God uses them and they're sweet and kind and all that good stuff. And then you got the other people on the other side of the fence, the demons. They're trying to hurt us, discourage us, cause us to discourage other people. And that's a war that's going on. Angels, they're just all around. You got the good angels over here, you got the bad, you know, demons over there fighting us. And it's really real. There are other there are beings that existed with God since they were created. So the Bible says one third of the angels, like years ago, millions, I don't know how many thousands of angels they are, but a third, when the devil got mad at God, he persuaded a third of all these angels to become demonic, to become rebellious with him. There is a little spirit there. And uh, they are batted together and they work for Satan. These spirits, they're evil, you know, some are women, some of them are men, they're actual beings and entities. I couldn't explain you all this in the one hour or 15 minutes or stuff like that, but I just want to, to, to start giving people a heads up to stop walking around only in the physical realm. Like, ah, oh, you know, we're just here. Oh, go, go. <coughs> we just eat, we just sleep, we just here, we love our wives, we love our kids, we teach, we do this. But there's a lot of stuff going on in the spirit. You know, I had a uh, aunt who came in, was talking about aunt. You know, when you're a little kid, you hear a lot of stuff. She was freaked out. She saw some weird eyes and stuff around her one night. She wasn't dreaming and they were appearing to her and she was freaked out. She was telling my mom about it and I was listening to her as a kid and I would be like, what? But now I know that she was had these things around her that were spirits, evil spirits. Not because she was evil, but because these creatures are always trying to fight us and the angels are always trying to encourage us. So, so these things are happening right now. 
And what's going on politically, there's a warfare between these demons who are trying to cause our politicians to act a certain way and follow the plan of the devil. Now, we're in the end time. Now, the end time, the Bible talks about there's going to be a one world government. And this one world government is going to be controlled by this guy, you know, called Sate, uh, the Antichrist. <laughs> He's going to be against God. And all these people that you see, these political leaders and rich people, a lot of them, they're not, a lot of them, some of them, they're not always, just because you're rich doesn't mean you're rich, you know, it means that God blesses you and sometimes you have a knack for, to make money. But there are some people who are rich, like this George Soros right here, this picture, and they are following the devil. They say they love God and all this stuff. You know, you can easily tell a lie. Like this, this, this chick right here, uh, what's that, Thatcher? Uh, Margaret Thatcher, right? And these rich people see the world in a secular view. Let's say they don't believe, some of them don't believe in God. Some of them, they do know they, there is a God and they are, because they're following the devil, they're fighting the plan of God. And these are evil people, some of them. Some of them does, are deceived. Some of them don't know the difference, but they just think they're going to win. They think, oh, you know, this is the, Satan is the true God, the more powerful God, so we're going to follow him. And these people are, some of them, I just say all of them, worship the devil. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Shoot. Okay, that, that would take so long to discuss all that. But I just want you, you to become more aware of why the world is the way it is. Now, these people, right, are, some of them are following the plan of the devil. The devil wants to destroy God's children. I say God's children. It hasn't done anything to do with the race. It doesn't have anything to do with black, white, Chinese, uh, Asians, or Africans, or Caucasians. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the devil fighting against God. Now, because the devil, this is a long story itself, took a lot of control of the world. He got control of the world. He doesn't necessarily supposed to have it. God's going to take it back anyway. But I'm just telling you now, that you're going through life now, that these people are following the devil. They really are. It's not that they were like, oh, you know, they're not all, some of them are not all bad, you know, I mean, but they are. And in their mind, because they're listening to the words of the devil, they are doing what he wants to do. And one of the things he wants to do, which I explained to you from the first, is to destroy God's work, to cause it as much damage as it possibly can before uh, it's all over and before everybody has to either go to hell or heaven or whatever God has in store. Okay? And you, what's going around, like these people and you, are being controlled by either God's spirit or the devil's spirit. You're either following God or your own, you know, your own personality, of course. You know, you're not a robot, but you can yield to God or you yield to the devil. Now, these people have decided to yield to the devil. They're following the devil's plan. I'm sorry. So wake up. Be aware that what's going on now is a spiritual warfare. And these people, some of them didn't even know why they do it. A lot of people, do, some of them know why they do it because they're following, some of them following Satan and they're getting their information from Satan. Every time I see um, Margaret Thatcher, it just freaks me out. Uh, you know, it's like, okay, I'm not, like her, a lot of these people see ethnic people as weeds, okay? And they don't believe in God, and so they, they, they feel they come from a superior, more enlightened part of the evolutionary process. So therefore, I, other people in uh, other ethnic groups are not worth much. That's how they feel. I'm, I'm sorry, what can I say? Now, I'm not, I don't hate them. I'm not mad at them. But it's just a spiritual problem, and they're following the devil. And they're trying to sow dissension between the races to destroy all of mankind. And his a uh, good point, you know, they just I'm better than you. How many people get excited about upset about people when they say, I'm better than you, I know better, and blah 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 and they 
and they're being anointed and they're being enriched by sat satanic power okay so they feel that they need to take control of the world and that they need to lead the world so because of the satanic power that they're following they are normally they their default mode is death so they're actually trying to kill the populations of the world okay it's not a joke and I, I just want to say I just want to say I don't think people understand the gravity of this thing they hate God and if you're a child of God they hate you hey guys wake up I want to tell you there are people who actually hate you they've never seen you before they don't know anything about you but they hate you or they hate your culture or your ethnic group or whatever and they don't all they know is is what devils has told them and the, the division that he wants to create so this race shit it's shit yeah I have to say I just want to say I want to emphasize it's just established by Satan and what we get what people get ready to go through in America with this race war and all stuff it's been hyped up by evil spirits and people who fight each other they don't even know why I tell you about, about that little kid in my book I wrote about this little kid you know who, I don't want to get this takes him all but listen it's the race war has nothing to do with flesh then other than what your race you are but it's the actual spiritual entity that's leading the division and war and killing and hatred for each other and these people at this point have been anointed or or let's say enriched by Satan so that they can bring about his purpose it doesn't mean they're any better than other black people it doesn't mean black people are better than them it doesn't mean white people are better than them or Asian people are better than them or whatever as far as the race it's just that whoever the devil can get control of to use to destroy you and destroy each other he will so uh, that's something that I hope you remember and when you see some of these people who don't want Jesus and don't believe in don't want him and don't want you to have him they hate God and these people who hate God this is real I remember one time I you know like uh, there was a stack of wood uh, against in this truck I was driving and I was driving the truck and the wood was about ready to fall over and I reached my hand back like you know pulls you know or sticks to try to hold the wood while I was driving and my hand went like dang and, it, and my arm almost snapped in half from the weight of the wood pushing against it in the back and you know you don't think you know you just don't think Here's hundreds of pounds of wood pushing against my arm, going back behind my back. When I got out of the van, my, my arm was almost broken. So I want to explain to you that this stuff is going on, and it's not a joke. And these people actually hate you. <laughs> That's why they're trying to reduce the population, because they feel that it's too many people in the world. And if you read about their secular views, you'll understand. So they are, some of these people are very greedy. And some of these people are very selfish. And because they say they don't believe in God and they don't believe, they're fools. You know, so the fool that says in his heart, there is no God. That's what the Bible says and it's the truth. They're just foolish. So they're trying to quell or put down the world population because they think it's not going to be enough air. It's not going to be enough. There's not enough uh, agriculture, uh, land and stuff to feed everybody that's being born. So they don't believe in God, so they don't have any faith. They don't believe that God's in control and that he'll uh, take care of everything. So I wanted to clearly, simply, because I'm a really simple dude, but I just want to say, I just believe that people don't understand. Some of these people hate you, and it has nothing to do with your race. It has nothing to do with race. It has to do with a spiritual entity called the devil that some of these people yield to, even, you know, black people, white people. Indian people, uh, you know, all the three races. There's basically three races, you know, uh, Asians, African, and Caucasians, you know. So, and it's just that they, these people now, these dominant, richest ones, happen to be white. It doesn't mean they have to go, ah, I hate white people. Ah. It, it, it has nothing to do with that. It's a spiritual problem. Like this lady here, she just saw every ethnic group is weeds and this dude right here is he's trying to block they're trying to block out they're making 
proposals to block out the sun. They're trying to live the matrix. They're trying to make re the matrix a reality. And that's what they're heavily trying to do. And that's the spiritual power that's making all these scientists and all these people supposedly wise and, and know it and understanding and intellectually strong people weak and stupid. They're actually stupid. This is the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. So this week, I want you to make it aware. You receive Jesus. Just kind of rile it up a bit. You receive the Lord. You get saved. It's really real. You're going to go to heaven. You're going to live forever with God. And But there's a war going on right now for man, right? And this war is just intensifying. It's becoming a lot stronger than it was, you know, hundreds of years ago, whatever. These entities have been working on mankind for thousands of years to bring about the destruction of mankind and to keep you going to hell. <laughs> because I will tell you, hell does exist. The spirit world, a heaven and stuff, does exist. And the war is going on because the devil trying to take to, as many people to hell with him as he possibly can because he is mad. Now, how the inner workings of it, you know, I ain't going to sit here and try and know hour to explain all of that to you or talk to you about it. All right, there's different people. What do you think, for God's sake? Why is all this weird stuff happening now? And why is all this weird stuff in the world, man's mind, happening now when the Bible prophecies that were made hundreds of thousands of years ago are actually being realized right now? The things that are happening in Israel, the things that are happening worldwide, worldwide government, actually, they're actually talking about a society with no money, no you know, paper. They want to make it electronic. So I'm just saying this, I want to just floor, step on the gas and just tell people, listen man, you are living in the time of the end. This is not a joke. It's not, oh, years from now. Or maybe it's a possibility of it's happening. Okay, so receive Jesus. That's the first step. And uh, know that God's going to win. He's going to win the spiritual warfare because he's control of everything, really. But he's got to let the devil do all this weird stuff because of this stuff that they work out. You know, they like, they, it's so much going on in the spirit world that people don't talk about that we need to start talking about. And I hope you will start talking about it. And I hope you will get saved and receive Jesus Christ. And I hope you will realize that you are in a spiritual warfare. And I'm going to try to do my part and tell you, you are in a spiritual warfare. Now, it's not something to be discouraged about because you, we are going to win the war. <laughs> That's the good news. The good news is that God is going to win the overall war. He's going to take back full. He's in control of the world, everything. But he's going to take full control of the world and get this, um, get this, uh, these people who are messing up the world, take this, uh, power out of their hands and just take it away from them again and send them to hell. <laughs> Sorry, you know. But you got saved. Be encouraged. You're going to live forever in the spirit world. In heaven, it does exist. It's not some pie in the sky and all the angels up there floating around on a cloud playing a harp all day. But some of them do, I guess. But, you know, they're there. There's a lot. There's a lot in the spirit world that's going on right now. And I'm here. I'm going to just spew out my guts, man. I want to tell you everything I learned because I live this stuff. Okay? I live it. I live it every day. I experience this stuff every day. If, if, when I was a kid, I could tell you stuff that can make your hair curl. You know what I mean? I lived in, uh, I lived around the world. I lived about, I don't know, 50 countries. And, you know, I speak several languages and I just know the people. I eat, I, I eat everything. I just don't eat uh, seafood so much because it's not all that good for you. But I, I've had the foods of all, you know, Arab countries, Asian countries I lived in. I lived in South America. I live in South America now. So I'm just trying to say, I'm just, I hope that you will get your hands on this and that you will share it, that you will log on to my uh, YouTube channel and look and listen to some experiences. I mean, I've been growing and learning things over the years. I've been putting up videos for years. And uh, it's just becoming more and more apparent how real the spirit world is. So I am here to tell you that 
all this stuff is going on around you is not just meat. You're not just meat and it's just all happening by chance through the secular worldview. It's a spiritual world war going on right now. And God is in control though. I want you to understand it's not like, oh, you know, they didn't give us enough missiles. Like, you know who? They didn't give enough, us enough bombs and all this stuff to finish the way. All this money, you know, don't get me started. I better not touch that. All these people are starving in the world and they're giving all this money out, you know. I've had my uncle got killed in Vietnam and my cousin and people that just died for nothing, just for a corporation, just for a business. It's not, ah, you know, I don't know what, what the subject is, you are a spiritual war. And it's really real. It's not a joke. It's not a, a myth. It's not, oh, the story of the Bible. Oh, that happened thousands of years ago. And, oh, and uh, it's just a, a culture that developed this and developed these beliefs and developed. No, sh no, it's happening. It's an actual war going on. I always look at my, every time I see that picture of Maui as fires, I just feel like I'm going to throw up. But anyway, the things that are happening around us are happening because of a spiritual problem. The race problem is not a physical problem. It's a spiritual problem. It's sin. It's a result of sin and evil men who following the devil. <laughs> Sorry, we're all the family of God and we all belong to God. We were created. We were not we didn't develop this and they all just develop that. Look man, I was a biologist. That was my study in university and I when I realized it was BS and all this evolution crap, I just said, forget this. And I sought after spiritual truths of what we really are here for. So uh, armor yourself. The Bible says, uh, put on the whole armor of God by which you shall squelch all the wiles of the devil. It's an actual spiritual warfare going on, just like in Ukraine right now. And these, you got the good spirits over here fighting with God. You got the bad spirits over here fighting with the devil. So, but so the most important thing is get saved, and that's when you, you'll start getting armor to protect yourself from all these lies and, and stories and folklore and, oh, this is just a story of, you know, Hansel and Gretel is just a story of child trafficking. <laughs> I mean, it, those witches are always trying to get them and eat them. I didn't, I have heard so many Han Christian Anderson stories. <clears throat> And all these stories of Europe, they were actually true, but they put it in little children's form, you know. But these witches and warlocks and all this other stuff like that is real. I'm sorry. Whether you believe it or not, you need to start waking up to the reality of the spiritual warfare that's going on around you. But Jesus is going to bring an end to it all, and we're going to be with him forever and learn more about how the spirit world works. So there it is. We got space coming. We're going to be real spacemen soon. And uh, I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. And I just remember, you're in a war. And you need to learn about it. And read the Bible. You know, once you read Galatians, the book of Galatians, the book of Ephesians in the Bible. And it will help you and encourage you. And know that it's not a joke. I'm here to testify. I'm here to testify that you are in a war. And this war is almost about over. And the thing is, the good news, we already know who's going to win. Jesus! He's going to win, and we all going to live together and chuck all this thing, racial BS. And uh, we're going to be uh, living together in love. Have a beautiful Sunday, and remember to read the Bible. Get saved. Like I told you, all you do is save. Really mean it. I'm just trying to make it short. Just, you know, you can say a simple prayer like, Jesus, come into my heart, forgive me for my sins, and give me your gift of eternal life, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. I close my eyes because, well, that's how I learned how to pray since I was born. My mom used to, at least my mom, you know, she was an Eastern star, got later on in life, but at least she taught me how to say, she can get me on my knees, and she said, uh, I'll never forget, because now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And we sit on our knees, and she said, God bless her. You know, she did a wonderful job and taught me the truth. I hope that you will teach your children 
the truth instead of all this smorgasbord garbage they're teaching people now in school in America and in many Western countries. So I'd like you to be encouraged. Don't be discouraged. Now, don't let this stuff discourage you. God didn't let all this warfare happen to discourage you. He let this stuff happen to teach you about life and how to live because you're going to live forever. If you receive Jesus, you will live forever out of hell. If you don't, well, you know, you're going to go to hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. I go to hell. Hell. It's real. It's not a metaphor or, or a, what do you call it, say a uh, analogy of something else. It's real. It's physical. It's spiritual. It's there. And it's not a joke. I don't want to get into it now. It would take for hours. I could just... Ooh, some of the things I've seen with these eyes will blow your mind now compared to what you may hear on TV. And that's not a written script from some made-up story. It's real stuff that happened when I... Haiti, I lived in Haiti before, and I saw some real freaky stuff when I was in Haiti. They, you know, a lot of people, they worship the you-know-what there. I lived in Africa. I lived in places where it's more dominant, more openly about it. They just like it's the same thing in Western nations, but it's more, you know, everybody said this secular worldview is just all in your head kind of crap. But anyway, be encouraged, be happy. It's going to be a happy ending, and God really loves you. Have a beautiful Sunday, and be aware. Watch out what's going on around you. Learn more about it. Read the Bible. B I B L E. That's the book for me. I stand alone with the word of God. B I B L E. Have a beautiful Sunday. See you soon. And bye bye. <laughs>